I talk in my kid because, you know, I talk loud and it carries. So, me and Jay podcast, we are back. Be nice. No Big J today. Big J's out on a business trip. Awesome. Big shout to Big J. <laughs> we got Hobie in the building. What up, Hobie? How What's you going doing? on, E? How you doing, man? I'm all right, you know. See you, ready I, for see you excited. I see you excited. <laughs> this is a special NBA, all NBA podcast for this Tuesday night. NBA Draft Lottery, where every fan gets a fresh start on the new season. Especially for those teams that didn't make the playoffs. You know, this is for the lottery. Top 14 teams that didn't make the playoffs, they go into the lottery. They get a chance to get the number one pick. Odds are given out. I don't know how the odds are dished out. I know it's 14, 14, 14, 11, and then 10.5 for the other team. And I forgot. I, I don't know how that's dished out, but that's how it is. 14% for the first. Odds of the worst record, second record, obviously, and then so forth. So it's Rockets, Spurs, Pistons, at, Pistons with fourteen percent. Yep. And then you got the twelve point five for the Hornets. Twelve point five. Ten point five for number. your Blazers. Ten point five for the Blazers, baby. Let's go. I'm ready. I don't know. You know, if we're gonna get the number one, I'm hoping. Everybody wants Victor. Everybody wants Victor Wembanyama. Hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. Well, Either him or, you know, I just saw a couple highlights of uh, Scoot Henderson. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't, But Portland doesn't need a guard. we got guards. We're guard heavy. Sharp, Simons, Lillard. We're good. We need a big man. We need a – I would love Dwayne Bayama, obviously. But if we don't, I would love Brandon Miller as well. We need a big man. We need a small forward. I mean, you can always get the number one pick and just trade us Damian Lillard. For what? Why? I want Lillard with Wembyama. They got to be together for a few years and win a title at least in you know two years. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Well, but yeah, it's a it's a jam packed day with a whole bunch of NBA news, man. You got John Morant, you know his nonsense on Instagram, looking crazy. <laughs> Coach Carter's the only one that could save him. I seen the memes. I love it. It's Best shooter of all times. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, Doc Rivers, I called it. As soon as they lost game seven, I called it. He's going to get fired. You don't like to see people get fired, but you can see it coming. I think he's overrated. 3-1 um, lead for like the fourth or fifth time in his career. A 3-1 lead, and he's blown it, and they just lost. It's it's kind of sad, and it kind of sucks. And who knows if it's really his fault or the players. It looked like Joel Embiid didn't give 100%. I know he's hurt, and... Harden is not the same anymore. He's a shell of himself where he used to be. And the fact that he might get a max contract possible from Houston this offseason is insane. It's I, insane. I wouldn't give him a max contract. And I think I think uh, Doc Graver, I think it's mostly his fault in a sense because it happens year after year with him, you know. Uh, when he was the Clippers, I believe. Yeah. He had the, what was it, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin. Yes. Um, Happened. I forgot who Same they lost 3-1 to. Uh, Golden State, I believe. Yes, right? Golden State, probably. Yeah. probably. Keeps happening to him, and, and yeah. I don't think he's that good. I think he's at fault for the loss in Game 7 because there's only one player killing you, and that was Tatum. The fact that you don't double him or don't make adjustments to trap him in a corner or full-court press him, get him tired, post him up on the other end, do something to get him tired so he's not killing you on the offensive end. Well, they don't got the no double teams. to do that. They don't. Yes, they don't. But I would just go out there and yell at Tobias Harris. Like, hey, go out there. Guard that guy. It's tough to do something. You got six fouls. Do something. Like they used to do with Shaq back in the day. <laughs> the Bulls versus Shaq. Got six fouls. Go foul Shaq. Go, go foul Tatum. Put him on the floor. Put him on his ass. Get him tired. Get him fatigued. He just did whatever he wanted out there. They put one-on-one. They put Maxi on him. They were trying to put Joel and beat on him. He couldn't keep up. He was going by and getting layups. It's insane. The funniest thing they ever did was uh, pick Tobias Harris over uh, Jimmy Butler. Oh, I know they're regretting that. <laughs> Every day they regret that. Jimmy Butler's balling right now. That's the other series <clears throat> I want to talk about. Can't wait for that one, man. It's going to be I mean, the other player I want to talk about. Yeah, Jimmy Butler's on fire right now. That's my guy. He wants to... <laughs> I know it is. I know the Bulls miss him. The Bulls miss him. They've been dying to have him back for years as well, I bet. Eh, we can't do nothing about it. I mean, we had John Paxson as a GM. Terrible job. Yeah. Yeah, I think he could have um, maybe won a title with the Bulls. It, it was possible. They had, a good was. Squad. They, they had a good squad around them, yeah, if I, I remember correctly. I think I think it was, honestly. And, um, but today that changes, you know. You're going to get the oh, number one pick. We're going to get Victor Wambayama, <laughs> and I'm going to be, you know, excited. You wish. 
What's, well, what's the Bulls' chances to get their one pick right now? Oh, 1.8. Last time we had a 1.8, we drafted somebody named, uh, what was it, Derrick Rose? Oh, man, you, you are. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> you are pulling on strings right now. That's crazy. We got the lottery in about five minutes, right? That's the timer. Three, so. five minutes. It's exciting times, man. They love the lottery. Same thing with the NFL draft. You love it because you're seeing your team's future, who they're grabbing, what their plans are and stuff. What I said, if Portland gets the number one pick, well, it's 13 seconds for the, the lottery. Real quick before that, Portland gets the number one pick. We're going to the draft. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's in Brooklyn, I think. Is it? Yeah, June 22nd. Ooh, I might. If Portland gets the number one pick, I would trade it to Milwaukee for Giannis. Nurk, the uh-huh. number one pick, and somebody else for Giannis onto the coupon. Really, Come to Portland. You really think go. Milwaukee's gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could dream, right? But this day, this is the time of the year where you dream. You you you, you make up trades in your head. I'll take Victor Wembanyama and I'll hang up that phone. <laughs> Who, <laughs> That's Chicago. It. Yep. I'll oh, Chicago. Yeah, of course. Yep. You guys need a big. I think uh, this guy's out the door anyway. Um, Vucevic. Uh, he's a free agent. I think he he's going to yeah, I, think he, I think he's going to stay. I think he's going to resign. Uh, he might. I don't know. Who knows? That's who the thing. That's the that. thing about free agency. It's awesome. Scoot Henderson. The Thompson, the, the, the twins, Brun, are, the Thompson are like, twins are nice, right? I they're see they're nice, before. but they can't shoot, man. They can't shoot. They can't do a lot of things. I think... Um, All right, but that doesn't mean you can't make it in the league. Look at no, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Mr. Westbrook. I'd rather go... Victor, Scoop, and Brandon Miller. Those yeah, are my that, guys. That's right the top there. three. That's the top three for sure. It's not a really deep draft. Excuse me. I think it is. It's a deep draft, you think? Yeah. I haven't seen Adam to you. Again, you follow more college basketball than I do. It's actually so a deep you're, you're my go-to guy when we talk about this <laughs> stuff. And I appreciate that. I'm just more of the pros. So that's why I like to like, you know watch. Taylor Hendricks from to. Central Florida. He's good, too. Hendricks. See, that doesn't even... I know Andre Jackson from UConn, national champion UConn. Yeah, he, I don't think I think he's closer to a late first round or a second round pick. Probably he's 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 mostly um, just a defender. I could see him returning back to UConn, winning another title with us. Didn't he get an agent? No, he didn't. So no, he's he just was going the only in. One. Test, he's testing. He's, he's testing yeah. the waters. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Look at this dude. He's just sitting down. He's as tall as lady. Looking at it. she's standing up. It's insane. I'll take him. Oh man. <laughs> It's exciting, man. I love it. I can't wait. As long as Dallas doesn't move up, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Luca, they got a good team already. They all set. Well, we'll see what happens tonight. Oh. Adam Silver spoke on John Morant. He gave his two cents. I got to read the quote. It just came through the wire. Most likely he'll be suspended. Yeah, what do you think? How long are you thinking? Half a season, probably. You Half know a how season? That's you know, a lot. Yeah, but you know how the NBA this is. is the second, this is the second, second time he's done this, so yeah. I don't think it's going to be half a season. I'm thinking 30 games. That yeah, sounds about right. That's almost half a season. But, Ja, come on, bro. Stop hanging around people like that. He thinks he's a game banger. That's why. He's trying to be. He's trying to be. Makes no sense to me. And I, I don't know much about that life because I, I never was a part of that life. But still, it's like, if you're not that, don't try and be that. <laughs> that's not cool, man. That's like, you try to be something you're not. I mean. Always got, you know, just because be yourself, man. If you need protection, get security guards. He's a millionaire. It makes carry. no sense, you know? Yeah, exactly. It makes no sense. That? It really doesn't. Like, it's just really you shady did it stuff once, doing. and now you're doing it again. They're going to give you another chance, and you're going to blow it. I don't think he's going to get another chance. They're going to set an example. They Adam, Sil- Adam Silver's tough. I do like Adam Silver. He's a little tough with um, stupid stuff like that. It's, it needs to be done because that's insane. you got so many kids. Looking up to job. Yeah, there's a lot of people they talking about like oh, him. They love Second him. Amendment rights and this and that. But when you look, when you think about it, as an NBA player, you got to have uh, no, I know. conduct of ethics, I think. Ethics of conduct? Uh, no, no. Um, code of ethics? Code of ethics, yeah. yeah. Code of ethics. Code of ethics. Yeah. Um, I know people with guns, they don't flash it on yeah, live. It's, it's, it's stupid. You I can have your stupid. Second Amendment right. Yes, have it with you. You don't have to flash it. What, what's the point of flashing? What's that going to do? It makes no sense. He's acting like a gangbanger. He's acting like a, one of these rappers that... You know, from the streets. Makes yeah. no sense. There's no point of flashing a gun on live. What does that do for you? Does that make you cool? I don't know. Again, I don't know. I'm not part of that life, so I don't know. Does that make you cool? Somebody <laughs> out there answer me. Does that make you cool? I might do it. Shit. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. But it's just crazy to me. He had all that money. Big contract. $250 million. And 
throwing you out. You had a small car, you know, blasting some music, some garbage hip hop music, whatever it was playing in the back, if I remember correctly. Probably some yeah. cannabis, you know. You watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> you watch your mouth, homie. <laughs> no, is it going? What's no, taking so long? Um, oh, okay. They're just they're hyping up the players. I yeah, see they're it. gonna hype up the players. They're gonna wait yeah. for like twelve Jeez, minutes. Look at this guy. His head's almost touching the ceiling, wherever he is. It's crazy how he moves. He moves kind of like KD in a sense. He moves like KD. He has. I, you think his shot's better than KD? Not no, yet. no, not yet. Not yet. I think it could be. It could be, but KD's his shot an is assassin, really nice. Man. His shot is nice. You comparing a future Hall of Famer to um, a guy that is, is a what he if? Though? No, I'm just kidding. KD? Nah, KD's, KD's, <laughs> KD's, KD's definitely a Hall of Famer. Famer. <laughs> they just choked this year. Denver just. I wouldn't be mad at Denver the second pick. Them. The second pick, I'll take Scoot Henderson all day. Reminds me of Derrick Rose. Yeah, this, is this going to be the first player drafted out of the G League this high? Um, I'm not sure. No, Got to look that I up. I don't know. Got to look that one up because I've never seen someone out the G League get drafted at all. Yeah, he it's went probably, from high school to the G League. Yeah, he went from high school. That's one of the, yeah. the loopholes that they did. Yep. You don't have to go to college, go straight to the G League, get paid to play. I mean, I think and it's then a good go way to the NBA to, after. It's a good way. It's a good way. Yeah, they make the wanna... money just in case they get hurt. You know, yep. you never know. You make some money out of it. What if you get hurt in college and that's it? You know, but I mean, the NIL now is giving players money, but yeah, but it's not it's, as much as the G League money. I don't think. I'm not sure. The gotta, G League don't get paid that much either. I don't think they don't. They, they, it's mostly endorsements. Um, it's no NBA money for sure. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. It's not. Uh, excuse me, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No, million dollars. I think Brandon Jennings was one of the first ones to go overseas. Million. He went to Italy, right? Who? Brandon Jennings when he came out of high school. He did. He, he did. did. He went Italy or was it Italy? Italy. I believe it was Italy. He went to Italy and then he went to the NBA. Made his money before the NBA. Yeah. Got him, technically got was ready. a year out of high school. Yeah, got himself ready. Yeah. And that did good because he had a good beginning of his career. Love Brandon Jennings, man. He was underrated. Yeah, but he got hurt and... <clears throat> We got I'll Woj. Woj is on the screen right now. Waiting for a Woj bomb trade. Uh, uh, that, won't, that won't happen tonight. That won't happen tonight. Happen tonight. <laughs> Maybe being, at the draft. I'm being hopeful. I'm being hopeful. Draft is what? June 22nd? June 22nd. Brooklyn, New York. If the Bulls get the first pick, I'll be there. You going? I'll be there. You get the number one pick? I'll be there. You got your Bulls jersey? <laughs> uh, depends which one. Which one you think? <laughs> ah, you can't go with Butler. He might win a title this year if you can't go, go with my Butler. Levine jersey. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you kind of have to go with a current player. You have to. Have to. But like, with a certain number one pick like this, with a definite number one pick, would you get a custom jersey of that player? And just I would rock it. I would. <laughs> I would rock it too. I would, and I'll sit first row too. Yeah, you got to. Even right. if I have to sneak in. Yeah. <laughs> you do right next to the table. Right next to the yeah. table. Slide people a couple hundred dollars. Like here, here's, here's hundred bucks. Let me sit right here. <laughs> Let me stand next to Woj real quick. Start staring at his phone, get a couple of Woj bombs before he does. These two guys are pretty good, though. The Thompson brothers? The Thompson brothers, yeah. <clears throat> Where did they play? Uh, I think G League also. Oh, okay. So, they, yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, know, there's a lot of players coming out. Yeah, that's awesome. There's going to be at least three G League players coming out in the top five, probably. Not bad. Top ten, at least. I don't want Detroit getting the first pick, either. I mean, that's your rival, right, Detroit? It's not that they're rivals. They keep Excuse tanking me. for no reason. You keep tanking. Well, they're always hurt. I don't like that. They don't have a decent... They, they have a couple good players, but that's about it. Yeah, but I think they do it on purpose, You too. can't play good if you don't got, you know, good players. Kate Cunningham was hurt. I mean, the other best players, who? I couldn't even tell you, honestly. I have um, to look it up. Wiseman? Wiseman played good at the end of the year. I don't know. I don't even know. Killian Hayes, that's all I know. Killian ah, Hayes. Geez. Kate Cunningham. Um... Did I they, just don't want them. Did they have one of the Morris brothers? I swear they did. No. They they played uh with uh Phoenix and um the Clippers. Okay. Who's on Detroit, man? That's insane. Weissman. Isaiah Stewart. Okay, yeah, Stewart. I know him. Um There's another guy on there, um Bogdanovich. That is that that's he's on the Detroit. Yeah, but one of the Bogdanovich. He's just wasting his time. <laughs> They're wasting on, his time. Me. So yeah. Doc Rivers got fired. Amazing news. Monty Come to Williams Portland. got fired. That's crazy. Yeah, that. How do I feel about that? I feel like. I don't know because Denver got a better team. They do. 
Phoenix has more stars, but Denver got a better complete team. But he shouldn't hang on fire. Like, if you look at the game, Devin Booker didn't do nothing that last game. He didn't. KD didn't do he anything. Had a, he had some monster games, though. Yeah, he, he did, but games. that last one, when it mattered, he didn't do anything. Yeah. It, and I hate to say it, but I said it before, Jokic should have been MVP. Oh, no. And beat earned it, man. And beat earned it. It's just, the playoffs, remember, the playoffs it's don't different. count. It's different. The playoffs don't count when but you're I feel like he, he cried his way to it, in a sense. Like, he made it more so. into a media type thing. And everybody's hyping him like he should get it. I think Jokic, I think he should have gotten it. If you base if you base it with the playoffs, yes, I agree. Because they're in the West Finals. But if it's just a season, I've got to give Embiid. He I played mean, good. This guy made DeAndre Ayton quit. But look at his... Uh, <laughs> he quit. He did. <laughs> Say that he had a boo boo on another, his ribs. That's <laughs> another player that's going to be gone, I think. Ayton is gone somewhere. Yeah, they're linking, us to, they're linking him to us. I don't want him. I'm Why? Good. Thirty-three million dollars for a guy that doesn't perform like that? Nah, I'm good. I mean, you could restructure the deal. You're gonna have to try, take, and try and restructure. You can't do that in the NBA. Player. You can't. No, you they can't. don't do that. No, it's not NFL. It's the NFL, damn. No, the CBA's different. I'm all different. messed up. I'm all messed up. <laughs> the CBA is completely different. Uh, I'll take it for Nurk. Send Nurk to Phoenix. I'll take Aiden. I'll eat yeah, that for money. that. For that, that's fine. Yeah, I'll take that. But I wouldn't mind that. And then I, I'm not trading DeMar DeRozan for him like they. Speculating and all this nonsense. That's crazy. I would. How old is DeRozan? 33. But I think we could get something better than that. Uh, you probably could. You Somebody probably that's not going to quit. You're right. When, you know. When the times get tough. When, when the Joker is, you know, yeah, exactly. giving it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> he dropped 53 and he quit. He's like, you know what? I'm not even going to yeah, play. I mean, I'm going to sit down. I'll take Doc Rivers on Portland staff. Because we're not getting rid of Chauncey Billups. Doc Rivers not good. Uh, I keep saying that. You know, he got that championship. His teams play good defense. Yeah. They play good defense, but uh, the 76ers team is not as good as everyone thought. That's why Embiid earned MVP for the regular season. Because like, you look at Jokic's team versus the Sixers team, it's not even equal. Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, Jeff Green. Um, I just had that um, up on my phone. I forgot the other guy's name. I yeah, can't. I can't. I guys. can't say that. I can't say that because if you really look at it, MB, and then they got Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris is a pile of garbage. I don't know what's up with him. He doesn't play defense. <laughs> he's not doing anything. I don't know what he's doing. And then James Harden, he's not the same. No, James Harden definitely not the same. It's, he's you chunky know, now. You can definitely see his chunky. He lost, he lost his step. It yeah. seems almost like he doesn't really care anymore. Look at that. He made Denver. his money, and that was it. Bruce Brown, Reggie Jackson, Contavious Caldwell Pope, Jeff Green, DeAndre Jordan, Thomas Bryant, Aaron Gordon, Porter, Jamal Murray, Jokic. That's a deep team. It is. The Sixers don't have nowhere near that. I picked them Maxie's, at the beginning of the year. Maxie's though. good, but Maxie's not. He's not on. I picked Denver at the beginning of the year. Did you? Yeah. I don't believe you. Yeah, it's, on, <laughs> it's in the chat. It's in the chat. <laughs> yep, I was looking at it the other day. Oh, I gotta, I gotta scroll up. I that gotta was, scroll all the way up. That was when me and Lee were uh, talking about. Uh, he Shout picked out to the Bob Lakers. Lee. He Shout picked out. the Lakers. Remember? Of course, he picked the Lakers. And oh, well, well, they're here now. They are. They are. You can't. But, say but even if they didn't make the playoffs, he would pick the Lakers no matter what. <laughs> He's uh He loves the Lakers. That's like me picking Chicago Bulls. Yeah, I thought Portland had a chance with the, with the signings we had. We had a chance, but we got hurt. You guys, Dave got hurt for a while. You guys had no chance. <clears throat> We had a chance to make the playoffs. The playoffs, but yeah, we got hurt. The like, season fell apart. I didn't like it. Jeremy Ger- Grant balled out. Lillard balled out when he was in there. Sharp is looking good for the future. I love Sharp. Simons, I'm fifty fifty on Simons right now. He could play. He could play. He but could he's shoot. No, he's not CJ McCollum. He's not. He's, he's consistent. Not. CJ was consistent as hell. Yeah, he's not mid range. I feel like Simons shoots way too many threes. And he, could, he makes a lot of them. But that's just not it. This dog's always walling over here in this house. <laughs> <laughs> we'll also hear her moaning again, like last time. What episode was that? It was like episode three, right? Yeah, I believe We're so, up to yeah. episode nine, man. We're doing some... I'm loving it. Being consistent. I'm trying to do one, you know, every week. So I would talk to Big J a couple episodes ago before we had Rob on. We'll do one every week. Makes it fun. Got to have it consistent. Different stuff every week. Last week was the Gamers Guild. Shout out Rob again. That was awesome. It's pretty good. Today's all NBA stuff. So, just because, you know, lottery is a big thing. 
Especially for you. I know it is. Definitely you love, is. You, you know love it. the lottery. You know it. I prefer the NFL draft because there's so many players to go out. I don't. The NBA draft is just. I think the NBA draft is. The NBA draft is more fun. I think I'll so, give you yeah. that. Because there's so many trades in the NBA yeah, draft. Yeah, I like that. But I'm going if we get the number one pick. I'll be there first. Bet, I'll go with you. How about that deal? I'll we'll go be with there you. First row. <laughs> Now, if Portland, if Portland gets number one pick, I think I might go to. I'm gonna get a you have customized to. You have to. Portland one by Alma jersey. You know who's representing Portland tonight? Brandon Roy, baby. Brandon one Roy, one of the legends. So that means you're drafting somebody that their knees are gonna give out. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. Just Portland, don't draft. Don't. We have bad luck with players and knee problems. Don't draft Victor because. Oh, he's gonna have knee problems. That's gonna be, be another bad. Greg Oden. If, that's if, gonna if, be if you that's guys gonna draft suck. Him. If you that's guys gonna draft suck, him. we're gonna draft one by Yama, and he's gonna have knee problems for every year. center you I'm draft has knee knee problems. Yeah, Bowie, Greg Bill Oden, Bill Walton, Bill Walton. Damn, it goes back. Ralph. That's three. You had Ralph Sampson? No, you didn't. No, no, that was no, that no, Houston. 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 But Sam still, Bowie. Like, Sam Bowie, that's huh? three for three. Greg Oden, three for three in centers. Or big man that we picked up had bad knees. And then the player, and then after, Roy. Them, the player after them became a star. Who's that? <laughs> Don't remind me. Greg Gordon <laughs> was Kevin Durant. <laughs> and then the great Don't Michael Jordan. <laughs> nah. Again, we had our reasons for drafting Clyde. Not Clyde, I'm sorry. Oh, well, you drafted Sam Boyd because you had Clyde. Yes, that's why. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. We had, we needed a center. We didn't have one. Just like Bobby Knight said, play Jordan in the center. No. <laughs> not going <laughs> to do cares? that. Who cares? He would have got demolished, bro. Who cares? He would have got demolished. But no. we need we needed a center, so we drafted Bowie because we had a two guard already. Who knew? Nobody knew Jordan was going to be that good. Nah, he was good if in college. He, no, he was good. He wasn't the greatest ever, but nah, nah, he was good. He was good. good. Everyone, everyone knew he was good. But that level, nobody knew that. That was insane. So, Bowie was the right pick at that point. Brandon Roy, baby, I see you. Let's go. It's kind of chunky, though. Mark, Who's that? Uh, that's for the Hornets. Hornets <clears throat> center, Mark Williams. Oh, okay. That's and other, other people are, what, GMs and stuff? Yeah, those are executives. Oh, look yeah. who it is. Udoka. Let's go. I'm glad he's back. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing wrong. You don't think? Uh, <laughs> Maybe. That was personal stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's personal stuff. Leave it out his professional. Leave it out his professional life. That's crazy. That's his problem. I'm like. And with Greg Oden, every GM in the league already came out and said at that point in time, Greg Oden. Oh man. Was the pit number one pick. This is gonna be. Was the number one pick. So I don't want to hear nothing about that with Kevin Durant. Even though you know, I wish we took him. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. All right, lottery's going. Oof. Nervous. Let's see what we got. I mean, I don't expect us to get. I don't. I don't even want to look at my phone. I want to. That's why I see live on TV. Who's this guy again? I forgot this guy's name. He's like the. Well, Adam right, number, four, number fourteen is going to. Pelicans. The Pelicans. All right. Garbage ass team. They, they got a good <laughs> team. They just need the right coach. They got a good team. You don't think they have a good team? Not, they they do, but nobody wants to play in New Orleans. Toronto number thirteen. Yeah, we. I don't think we need right. the first pick, but I could dream, you know. You could dream. I could dream. I'm. I'm what you said earlier? You got butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> okay, C with the number twelve. All right, looking good. Looking Let's promising. As I say, Orlando. All right, number eleven. What we got? Orlando yep. Magic. Ooh. That means we don't get the pick. All right. Yeah. We got number ten. We get no picks. We get no picks? No, we made a trade for Booch. Ah, oh, trash. Dallas with the number 10 pick. Ooh, I know Big J is mad. Well, they were predicted at number 10, so. Were they? Yeah. Still, you kind of hope you get it's higher, keeping, right? It's keeping order right now so far. Is that that's the projected order? That's so far, yeah. Okay. The Jazz at number 9. All right. Is that the projected order? Yep, so Still? far, yep. Oh, wow. I hate when it's like that. I like the drama. Washington. Yep, so far so good. Number eight. It's not bad. Who do you think they go with? Don't know. Number seven is going to the Pacers. Okay, keeping order so far. Yeah. Not bad. 
Now, don't go in order for the rest of the picks. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on. Number six. Is it a magic? Still keeping the order. I'm bad. Oh, the magic got two top. Yeah, we, picks? They, get, they yeah. get our pick, so. Yeah. Number five. Not Portland. Not Portland. Wow. Yes. Are you guys Detroit. <laughs> Let's go. This is awesome. Number four. Come on, Detroit. Portland. Detroit. Detroit's angry. Man. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. Detroit's pissed off. You already know. Imagine. Come on. Man. San Antonio or Houston for the four. I will, uh, Are they going to commercial break? Yeah, they go ah, to commercial break and then they reveal the top four. Bro, I hate that. Oh, I'm excited. Man. Oh, that was crazy. See, I like the drama. And what, what did we talk about before the show? <laughs> <laughs> I said Portland's going to get them one pick. Oh, no, nah, don't, don't even. I don't want to jinx it. No, nah, I don't want to jinx it. Let's see what happens. Brandon yeah. Roy's there giving us good luck. One of my favorite players ever. One of the best guards ever. One of the best guards that Kobe said was one of the hardest to guard in the league. He was a good player. That was, that was, in, a, that was in the same league as Carmelo, LeBron, D. Wade, all those guys. He was a good player. Just the knee injuries. Just like they're gross. Yeah, it sucks. That sucks. What could have been? I, I, I really think Portland would have at least one ring right now. It sucks. Brandon Roy, Aldridge, Greg Oden, if he didn't get hurt. When they played together, 62 games, they were 52-10. and 10. They were a good team. They were a good team, man. They had it. With Andre Miller at point guard. Oh, I love that team. Same just, thing with the Orlando reasons, Magic. Man. Remember when they signed Grant Hill, uh, Tracy McGrady? Yeah. And they were supposed to be good. Tracy McGrady went off, but Grant, Grant Hill, Hill could have stayed healthy. He was done. Could you imagine if he was healthy? Oh, that, that team would have been, been Yeah, that team. Would have been incredible. That would have been insane. They just love it. I, I, I love it. With, I love free agency too. Like when free agency comes around, we going we going in on that too. That day, we're gonna be here recording a podcast <laughs> talking about the NBA free agency because NBA free agency is just as good as NFL. Maybe better. I think it's better. You think it's better? I think NBA free agency is way better. Why? Because of trades. Because they got NFL free agency, and, they got champs and Woj. So it I know matter. the Woj bombs every time. I, but for the NFL, you got Schefter and Morton. Yeah, but they're not that good. Nah, don't be hating on Schefter, and, and, bro. Schefter, look Schefter's at what a monster. Even Rogers told him, like, nah, lose, <laughs> lose my phone. phone. <laughs> <laughs> nobody lose telling Woj, nobody telling Woj to lose their number. That's crazy. Nah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Because they know better. <laughs> <laughs> got them specs. Yeah, no. Woj is Woj is the man. Shams uh, Sharani is good as well. I like Shams. I like them. Um, there's one more NBA guy that I like. There's a lot of them. There's, there's, uh, there's quite a few. Rick Buecher. Remember Rick Oh, Buecher. Buecher. Yeah, he's still around. Uh, Mark Stein. Mark Stein's um, a good one. Um, there's one more I'm thinking of that I can't. We haven't named him yet. I, I remember there was one in um, there's one more ESPN, but he wasn't good. I didn't like him at all. Who? Um, the young guy with the mustache. I don't know who's talking about. He used to always say uh, multiple sources. <laughs> multiple um, sources. Brian Wethorst? No, He's all right. Brian, I like Brian Wethorst. He's okay. He's all right. But that's all because of LeBron. Yeah, yeah, he came up with yeah, LeBron, LeBron, so that's why he, he's yep. famous now. LeBron. If that was anybody else. I that's, doubt they're that famous. Yeah, there's, there's a couple. I mean, there's a couple people. They're not bad. There's one more. I can't think of it. I don't know. I, I can't think about it right now. Damn it. I just saw it the other day because I followed him on Twitter. Sean Devney? No. no. Who the hell's that? That's uh, He's just making up names now. No, he works for um, Bleacher Report, I believe it is. Um, He used to do, uh, remember Sporty News back in Sporty the day? Sporty News. No. No. Got to be honest with you. I don't. Okay. Lottery's back. Commercial break. This is going to be painful Kind of like this. Kind of like this, you know, live show we're doing uh, here. This is going to be See painful what we do watch. I mean, by the time everyone hears this, they're going to be like, oh, we already heard this, but it's awesome to see it live or hear it live or what's going on. I think if you get the first pick, you should give it to us. No. <laughs> There's not enough players you guys have to trade to Portland for the number one pick. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have nothing. I mean, uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm all set. Man. I mean, they may to say he doesn't want no rookies, right? He does it, man. That's crazy. That's what scared me about this but, uh, upcoming. But is he gonna take the number one pick? Uh, he better. I mean, yeah, that's different. Number one's different. Number one's different. That's what I'm nervous about this offseason because 
He hasn't really turned down any trade ideas. I feel like sometimes it's all about the money. <clears throat> he's got a good contract with us. He got some good, good money. Yes, yeah, humongous money. Yeah, I think he's fine. Stay in Portland. Let's get that title, bro. You got it. He ain't getting a title unless you get this guy and he develops. He's gonna be amazing. Watch. Portland is the number one pick. Hope you keep Watch you it. out my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go celebrate. <laughs> Call out of work tomorrow. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I'm not going to work tomorrow. It is man. over. <laughs> Blaze is getting more pick. I'm not going to work tomorrow. All right, let's see. Number four. Be Charlotte. Come on, baby. Number four. Let's see what we got. The Hornets. Let's Houston go. Rockets. The there Houston go. Rockets. <laughs> let's go. Come on. Number three. Number three, what we got. Damn it. Wow. <laughs> Damn it. I said it'll be Brandon Port- Miller. Yeah, it is. Portal's the number be, three pick. It's going to be San Antonio. I'll take it. I'll Next, t- Tim Duncan. <laughs> if the Hornets get number one. Wow, they got the number one, the Spurs. The Spurs. I knew it. I knew it. Congrats to the Spurs fans out there. That is some nonsense, man. My boy, Angel. Angel, congrats on the number one pick, bro. Victor Wembayama with Tim Duncan and Pop. It's going to be insane. Pop retired, I believe. Did he? Yeah, I don't I think, think so. I think this was his last year for coaching. No, I don't think so. No? I haven't heard. I haven't maybe, seen that. Maybe he'll take that back. He'll be like, you know what? I'm coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Tim Man. Duncan's on the roster. Damn it. Wow. Look I at mean, that. I mean, what better team to pick a big I guy? I mean, yeah, like I can't that. be mad because San Antonio's. I don't hate San Antonio. They I develop, like them. Yeah, they develop the big guys, so. They do. I mean, they had this guy looking like a star, Brian Scalabrini, for a little bit over there. <laughs> Was it Brian Scott? <laughs> he was, no. Was it David Bertans, was it? Bert, no, no, Matt Bonner. Matt, Matt Bonner, Bonner, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Bonner. He looked, he looked like a star for a little bit over there in San Antonio. Yeah, but. <laughs> Not a star, but he was a good player over there. A player. This guy's, like, shaking. He's like, you Yeah, know he's what? so happy. Well, you got the number I'll one take pick. number three, because number three could be Scoot or it could be so if it's school, Brandon Miller. If it's school, does that mean Portland starts uh We start over? A rebuild? Oh, man, I don't know. Maybe we trade the number three pick. I'll take it. You want the number three pick? I'll take Zach Levine. Nah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's deal, bro. That's I'll get, good. I'll give you the rules and that's it. <laughs> nah, I don't want the rules in. Yeah, congrats, man. San Antonio Spurs, number one pick. Interesting. When well, huh? Bayama's going to San Antonio from France to San Antonio. What a, a change feeling. of scenery that is. I had a feeling. From fancy foods and all that other stuff to barbecues and all the other, all the good stuff. All the good American food down in Texas. He, I doubt he's going to eat it. But, San Antonio's you know. going to be eating nice quesadillas. Tacos. Still, he's going he's gonna to gain some weight. He's going to gain some muscle. About time. He's going to be a problem over there. Who's, their, who's San Antonio's notable players? Um, Johnson, Keldon Johnson, Keon, is his, well, I forgot Ke- no, Ke- no, I think it's Keon Johnson, Keon Johnson, I believe, yeah, I don't know his full name, nobody cares, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to look it up right now, San Antonio, I mean, they traded all their players, basically, they did, who's their best player right now, there's got to be one, I think it's Johnson, Johnson, um, Keon Johnson, I believe it is. Yeah, I know they don't got DeJounte Murray anymore. No, he went to Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta, yeah. I mean, they traded he traded a lot of people, so they even traded their center. I like, um, they got Doug McDermott, wow. I like the Doug point guard they had, Trey Jones. Trey Jones is a pretty Trey good Jones, player. Yes, he was yeah, good. He that's was the good guy player. that's, um, like, his hairline's all the way back here. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm almost positive. Um, or is that, it's not Trey Young, it's the other guy. Yeah, Keldon Johnson. That's who they Keldon have. Keldon Johnson. Yeah, Keldon yeah. Johnson's probably yeah. their best player. Devontae Graham, but he's not nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take man, I'll take the number three pick. Uh we might trade that. I think we should trade that. Trade that. San Antonio's gonna be very interesting. Especially they got money, I think, this offseason too. Do they? Yeah. Oh, they're gonna surround so them they with could, some good they talent. Could, they oh, they're gonna be a scary team. Should double, double check. I think Pop is still coaching. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> I had oh, excuse me. I haven't heard otherwise. Even if he wanted to retire, he'll probably come back. 
Yeah, I think so. I think he's probably waiting for this this lottery night to Man. decide what to do in coaching. Jeez, we blew it again. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't really blow it. I mean, which which a trade for Vucevic was terrible. It was terrible. Um, at the time, it was nice because he's a good player. It was okay. Now, I mean, when you look back at it, you're like, crap, we probably should have kept that, you know? Now, when you traded two first round picks. Yeah. Like, Hindsight is always 20 20, man. You probably should have just kept one of those picks, at yeah, least. At least we're not um, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> at least we're not Dallas all the way down at 10. <laughs> I'll take it. They already got enough players. They got Luca. They got Kyrie. We good. Wow, San Antonio Spurs, yeah, huh? Yeah, congrats, San Antonio, again. Are we going to see another... Uh, dynasty? Dynasty with them? Depends on who they get, Saranda, because... It doesn't matter with them. They pick people in the... They do. They Look at Tony Parker was like the 29th pick. And they the draft, was the they draft really well. They do yeah, draft Mano well. was like the last pick in the draft. They scout really well. They're, they're pretty good. But we'll see. Depends on who they surround them with. They may make some noise in the West. I'm really. I don't know play. if they made the playoffs yet. We got to see how Victor plays in the NBA because it is a little more physical. So it'll take him some time. It will. The NBA is way more physical than the league he was playing in. But man, you know that sucks. We were so close. We were right there, number three. We had it. I should really go on vacation right now. <laughs> this is some. See, now we're not going to the draft because none of our teams are the number one pick. So what's the point? I don't want to oh, go you anymore. guys got the third pick. It's not the bad. Third pick, yeah, but I'll I, still go. I think before then we might trade it, or day of we might trade it for some players or whatever. Maybe you do a full rebuild. I don't know. I don't know, man. Our, our off season is gonna yes. be crazy. Your center. My, my two teams in professional sports are the worst in free agency. It's like the worst luck I have. Portland the never worst. spends a free agency. And Green Bay never spends a free agency. It's so frustrating. Every year you're like, all right, who are we going to sign this year? We end up signing one person that doesn't really contribute. The and Cubs. It's, it's so annoying. The Cubs, they don't really spend either. They don't. So I, I got my – my luck is the three teams that I like in all three major sports, when it's free agency, they decide to do nothing. They just keep the players they got or build through the draft. It's all this nonsense sometimes. It doesn't work all the time. Building through the draft is nice and it's awesome. Get a good core like that. But to win a title, you got to be able to spend. You got to be able to spend some money. I'm Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You guys did terrible last year. Let's see how you guys that's, do this year. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. We spent all this. all this. Uh, I, yeah, sometimes it backfires. I agree. It's, you got to be I careful, see that. too. Sometimes like, it backfires. I mean, he better have a good year. He should have a good year. You got a better coach. With a good um, offensive coordinator. And we you got, guys made a new offensive coordinator, and you did, right? Yeah, we got a better O-line, too. Better O-line. You guys spent in free agency. Yeah. Denver should be good. They should be, but... Now, back to the other sport. Who you got in this series? Denver or oh, Lakers? Said Denver. You got Denver? I got How Denver. many? I got Denver in five or six. Five or six? Yeah. Five? That's That's... When you look at them, that's as a pushing team, though, it, man. If you look, if you look at them, they're loaded. They are loaded. That's what we were just talked about earlier. They they got a good squad. LeBron, LeBron's not the same. And nah, you can't still, say that. You can't he's say still that. Good. He's, he's playing at a high level. He's still, still good, but you know, it depends. They got people this that can series, contain him. This series depends on Anthony Davis. If he's healthy and he plays every game, I think they can win it. But it'll be in seven. I don't think they're gonna win any shorter than that. The so Denver is just too deep to go down. The thing about you Denver, know, four, they don't one, rely. Four, two. They don't rely just on the three ball. They go inside. Yeah, they play. They play in the paint, and they can shoot the three. Yes, they could. I like. I'm gonna go Denver in six because that's what I think. They have a deeper team, as well. Um, but it wouldn't shock me if the Lakers won in six or seven. I wouldn't be shocked, just because LeBron's just different. There's no stopping him. You would have to hope he just has a bad shooting night or a bad just night overall, but that's rare. So you have to, when you have to rely on AD to be healthy to win four games, that's a big chance you're taking. You're taking a big chance there. I'll take Jokic is there. always there. He's always playing. Murray's always playing since his injury. Denver's just a relatively healthy team. So I'll take the Joker. All we'll day. see. I, I'm, I'm going with the Joker too. But again, if the Lakers won it and went to the finals, 
I would not be surprised. I wouldn't either, but I'm still going with the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. And how about the East? Uh, that's a little. Uh, that's that's tough. I gotta go. That's tough, but I'm gonna go with my boy Jimmy Butler. And yeah, Miami. I'm going Miami in seven. Miami's gonna take it in seven because Boston. They don't got Tat- no one. Tatum's unguardable right yeah. now. He's playing off the chain. Butler can't guard both of them, so he's got to try and guard one. Yeah, that's gonna take all his energy. So I say put him on Brown. Brown has had a decent or good playoff run right now. So I say put him on Brown, conserve his energy for offense. That goes seven. Miami is seven. That's my prediction. I'll take Miami. Miami, Denver. A weird NBA Finals, but that's my prediction. I think Denver's going to win the whole thing no matter what. Yeah. I think Denver's going to win the whole thing. I think Nicole. Unless they're shocked by um, the Lakers, but. I think Nicole has on a mission. He yeah, didn't he's, get that he MVP. Wants, he's like, you know what? You give it to the guy that choked in the he playoffs. He went back to back already. He's good. He's good. <laughs> he's like, you're going to give it to the guy that choked in the playoffs? I'm coming for that trophy now. Nah, he's good with the <laughs> freaking MVPs. Man, I think I would, he does want to win a title. He wants to be considered as one of the best bigs of all time. He already I is. I mean, he already is. He already is one of the best bigs ever. Guy averaged like a, three, a triple-double, is it? Yeah, he did average a triple-double yeah, last year. Yeah. Not this year. I don't think he did it this year. Almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah, he's insane. It's, yeah, he's ridiculous. And he's, he plays he so He was a second-round pick, too. Was I th- he? I think he was a second-round pick. Uh, I think he was. I think he was. Like in the 40s. Yeah, I think. I think, I think it's I in think. the 40s, if I remember correctly. So I honestly saw that, like, last week. I think he's in the 40s or something. That would be but insane man. if he... He'll probably be the... That would be insane if he was a second-round pick. It would. Would it, would it project him over Dirk as the best international player? If he, yeah, if he was just he, one ring, just one ring. Dirk got one ring as well. He was a forty-first pick. Forty-first, yeah, I knew it was in the forties. Wow. So Jokic wins the title this year. You think he's better than Dirk as the international player? I, I would say not yet because not yet. Dirk is what top five in scoring. Of all I mean, time. all around he's a better player, but <clears throat> excuse me, it's just Dirk's a legend. No, Dirk is a legend. I used to hate Dirk. He used to kill Portland all the time, but <laughs> <laughs> I respect him. I respect Dirk. He was a good player, man. Played no defense. Nobody ever attacked him. You could always do that. No, we don't have much anyways. Don't have much. Yeah, man. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting off season because I don't even know what my so, team's actually doing. So you're going Jimmy Butler in the heat and how much? Six, seven? I'll probably go seven. Seven? Right. Seven games. So we got the same predictions. I got Denver in six. So that's my final I'm prediction. I'm taking Denver all the way. And no what? matter who, who they play, I'm taking Denver. Denver's going to win the whole thing. I don't think nobody in the East has a big man. Maybe Adebayo could stick a no. Jokic. He's he not could gonna try. Be He's not going to be able to. He's going to try. Every, every, if you look at the matchups he, he had um during the season, even in the playoffs, he has trouble against big guys like that, like seven-footers. Yeah. Uh, every, every player he played like that, he always had trouble with. So it makes no sense. I don't think. I mean, yeah, who they been? Yeah. Did they play anybody? No, I don't think so. Who? Nobody with a big guy. Who they play? They played the Knicks. Who? Jokic? No, no, Miami. They Bam. played the. Uh, Bam. They played the Bucks. Oh, Brook Lopez. Brook Lopez. Well, he's he's a, he's 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 a shell of himself as well. Yeah, he got he's the same old. player he used to yeah. be. And actually, Jimmy Butler won that. He didn't do it much. In yeah, Jimmy season. Butler controlled that series. Yeah. Nobody was guarding him. Now. I love the clips of him and Drew Holiday going back and forth. So now, I get goosebumps. If- <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> For real. Look, look, at the, look, at the, look at the highlights of Jimmy Butler and Drew Holiday going at it in the first round. Yeah. And it, they put the music behind it. They put the little, you know, they put the little videos together. You get goosebumps. Like, yo, he's really owning Drew Holiday. And they wouldn't let Giannis guard him. Don't even know why. I don't know. Like, Giannis, his legs should have been able to bother Butler, but they didn't even bother trying to put him on him to guard him. I would have. I don't know why. You should. I mean, you should. If he's killing you like that, you got to do something. You got to do, make any type of adjustment to try and stop the player that's hot. You got to mm-hmm. do something. Now, if Giannis never got hurt during that series, uh, do you think that um, Miami wins? Miami won what? Six? Mm-hmm. Five, I think. Five, yeah, it was 4-1. Yeah, 4-1. I still think Miami wins because, I mean, Giannis was there for what? The first four? 
No, you got no, hurt. No, first, first two. Yeah, you got hurt. I think it goes seven. Because then it's a toss-up. I wouldn't know who would win. I expect. I mean, this guy didn't even show up either. I expect to be Milwaukee. What happened to Middleton? Where, where, where was he hiding? I don't know. A he's a, bona, a bona fide star. Where the hell was he? He's not him? a. He's not a star. I think he's more like a. He's not a superstar. Yeah, I think he's, he's a star. I don't think he's a superstar. He's borderline star, kind of. I can't really say that he's a star yet. Yeah. I mean, this game's gonna start in a little bit. I got Denver winning game one by ten at least. What if they sweep him? Denver sweeps. That'll be funny. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'm not a big. I'm not. I don't like the Lakers. As a Blazers fan, oh, I hate the Lakers. I wish they could beat. I don't have that, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta love kids. Yeah, I don't like the Lakers. I'm a Blazers fan, so I hope they. You know, I would love if they got swept. There's so many Lakers fans out there that would hate me for saying that. Lee. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with it. I hope they get swept. I really do. I don't like them at all either. I like LeBron though. I do like LeBron. I'm a, I'm a fan LeBron. of LeBron. I don't mind. I mean, LeBron I respect at all. him. I don't care for him. Hey, you know, everybody has their own opinion on sports and stuff. Yours is usually pretty trash. So <laughs> <laughs> we always going back and forth. I I love it when we talk basketball. Cause you swear you know more than me. It's wild. I do, you know. <laughs> You know, I, I'll give I'm you. Like, I'm like you know Bobby more, Knight. Nah, <laughs> you're more of the college guys. Yeah, I like college basketball. I watch. I watch the tournament. That's about it. I don't really. They play hard. They do. The NBA is like, it's not the same. A lot of these players is just. And they then take the refs, for granted. Yeah, the no, refs I, I, make I, it I, horrible. I, I, hate, I hear your argument. I see what you're saying. The refs make it like, ah, they need to get in trouble for a lot of the calls they make. Yeah. It's like. Stupid. That's that's why they should have reviews. I mean, they do have the reviews now, but I don't know if it's for every call. No, it's not every call. That's the thing. Yeah, there's horrible plays left and right. Like there was the the play where I don't like LeBron, but he had a play against Boston where, I mean, he cried his way like crazy at the end of the game. Yeah, it was a game winning layup where he got fouled. I don't remember that. That was a while back, right? Yeah, it was a season. Yeah, yeah, this season it was a while back. But it was it was a terrible call. No call. They ain't call nothing. No call. I gotta see it. I have to go back. It was bad. Yeah, that's a few months ago, probably. It was bad. And like he grabbed his whole hand, like his whole arm. Who did he grab? I think it was Brown. I think it was Jalen Brown, Jason, right? Jason Tatum grabbed LeBron. Yes, and they didn't call the they foul. They didn't call the foul. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I do remember that play. I remember them talking about that heavy the next day. It's just insane. I think they need to be held accountable. Then that's, they do. I mean, ref. Sh- and then the NBA comes out and what says, reports. yeah, we should have uh, got that right. All right, so find them then. If they got it wrong and it's blatantly wrong, you should find the refs as well. So I believe. I don't see why not. Yeah, they come up with a report for the last two minutes of the game. Um, On what calls should have been and what calls, what calls should were. Been. So we had about seven times where we lost the game when we should have gone to the free throw line. Yeah. And we lost the game because they didn't call the the, the, the foul. You gotta hate that man, especially when it decides a game, especially late in the season too. When it decides a game of winning and losing or making it into playoffs. We could have won like forty seven games at least. Yeah, and those plays would have gone through. Yeah, that's insane, man. There, there definitely should be some like uh, accountability there for that. They won't do that, I don't think. It, they so should. If, they, if, if they're not gonna do it, don't put out the report that tells us, yeah, we got that part <laughs> wrong. Like, don't tell me that. Don't tell me you got it wrong and not going to do anything about it. They say they do it for accountability, but I don't... Yeah, but what, they, what, there's nothing. What's being done? The outcome's already done. Like, Yeah, the outcome's already done. It doesn't help anything. Are we going to give them another sh- a free throw shot after the game? Or, you know, next time they're on the court together? I who knows? Man. I don't like that. Don't do, don't do a report if you're not going to do anything to hold the refs accountable. If you're not going to find them or anything. I mean, we're humans. You gotta make a mistake. So if they make a mistake. Let them make a mistake. But just don't put a report out and be like, "Yeah, he got that travel call wrong. He didn't do that. He didn't call that. He didn't call that foul. That was an obvious slap on the wrist." Don't they, do no reports because that gives the fans all the ammo they need. They do that so much. 
Yeah, that's terrible. It's like us as fans, is like, come on, man. I mean, Chicago. If it happens live, it happens live. Whatever. Chicago lost to pretty terrible teams like Houston, but. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that twice or something like that? Yeah, but. Twice in the last week like... of the season? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chicago needs it's some like, help. He's giving some seven victories that we should have deserved. You know, like, come on, man. Chicago needs some help, man. Houston's the worst team in the league. I mean, we'll be all right next season. Ah. <sighs> We just need a point guard. That's what we need. So the Hornets with the number two pick, huh? Um, that's what it was. Uh, that's that's interesting that's, now because are they gonna pick Scoop or uh, Brandon Miller? I think they're gonna go Miller because yeah, they, they have Lamelo, yeah, so. and they have Rozier. So do they go Scoop and trade Rozier, or do they go I would. trade Lamelo? Would you trade Lamelo for Scoop? I mean, I it's, know, too Rozier, it's too early. It's too early. It's way too early. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But I love, see, the speculation talk is awesome. Man. Just like, I wouldn't give up this? on LaMelo Would that they do quick. that? I wouldn't either. But I think it, he's it, good. if they really want to trade him, give him they to get, us. They can get him a lot. Give him to us. You guys do need a point guard. We'll take him. You guys need a point. He plays the point, right? Yeah, he's a point guard. Okay. I thought he played the three. No. And he just t- he brought the ball up like he's LeBron like does. He's 6'7", you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, the height don't mean shit in the NBA sometimes yeah. for a point guard. Look at Magic, 6'9". Yeah, Magic was 6'9". <laughs> Sean Livingston was 6'8". That's one of my favorite point guards ever. Houston, huh? Houston got the fourth pick. Fourth pick, yeah, whatever. I don't even care about them. Yeah. <laughs> we got the three pick. I'm happy with that. Scoot or but, Brandon Miller? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Unless I don't know. San Antonio comes calling and is like, hey, uh, give us the third pick and give me Damian Lillard and we have a deal, you know? Would you do why, it? Now, why would Dave do that? He wouldn't want to. Uh, damn, I'm talking about would you do it? Like, it I wouldn't. Just, no, know, I wouldn't do uh, it. I wouldn't do it, but. I wouldn't do it. Never know. Nah, a that's a tough, that's crazy, a tough call. A lot that's of crazy things have happened in the NBA. I will trade the number three pick. If, let's say, Jimmy Butler loses in this East Finals, I would trade the number three pick to Miami for Jimmy Butler. For Jimmy I would. Butler? I would. There's no player in this draft right now besides Victor. You would? That's as good as Jimmy Butler. But not yet. Or... Not yet, obviously, but you know what I mean. That's going to be at that level anytime soon. Jimmy Butler's like, Jimmy the Butler's like 35 years old almost. Is he? Yeah, he's up there. I don't think he's 35. He's like 34, 35. When did he get into the league? I don't remember. Uh, he got into the... Remember, he the went year to is escaping too. me right now. Huh? The year that he came into the league is escaping me right now. I think it was 2011, I believe it was. 2011? That sounds the about league, right. Sure. He's 33. Okay, that's 30, not bad. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. So I would do that. I heard Kawhi might be on the block. Yeah, but Kawhi's always hurt. Kawhi's like, always hurt. Yeah, I don't like Paul George. He's not. He's no longer playoff P. I don't care. I don't know why he got that nickname. Me either. He, he does not LeBron. perform in the playoffs. He lost to LeBron. What's the point? <laughs> he does not perform in the playoffs like ever. I think only when he when he did that was in Indy when he was with the with the Pacers. That's it. Other than that, I swept. haven't seen Paul George <laughs> perform in the playoffs. He got swept in Indiana, so... It, it's Even so with saying all that, I'll take Paul George to Portland. <laughs> I would. I mean... Because he's always there. He's always available. If... Usually always, always if available. If you guys keep Damian Lillard. Yeah. We got to keep Damian. You got to. Because now there's no point to it. I mean, I'll trade the number three pick for Giannis. I mean, <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to do that. <laughs> so, number three pick, right? This is my hypothetical. Number three pick... Anthony Simons, Yusuf Nurkic, to Milwaukee. Uh, they'll have the core with Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Bobby Portis, Brooke Lopez, Nurkic, Simons, and the number three pick, probably Brandon Miller. They wouldn't do that? I think, That's close. That's I a think, good one. I think they'll hang up the phone on you. I don't think so. I think so. They got to listen to that. Why would they? Why not? You have a guard For Giannis? of Simons. And um, Drew Holiday, right? You have Middleton. You have either Scoot or Brandon Miller. So here's the problem. Brooke you Lopez have... is a free agent. Is he? Chris Middleton's a free agent. Prove it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. I didn't hear about... Um, I didn't even hear about Middleton being a free agent. Yeah, they're free agents. Is he really? I don't know if I'd take him. He's another one that's always hurt. 
Um, Look at that. Denver is already up. No, nah, I don't think Six he's going to hurt. You know? Jokic with another assist. Jokic is a problem, bro. I mean, 40 teams skipped on him, and look at what he turned out to be. Yeah. That's Nur- Nurkic was his backup. Nurkic, Nurkic was the starter, right? No, Nurkic was the backup. I thought he was the starter, and then they got rid of him to start Jokic. No, I don't think so. Because if I remember Cause correctly, drafted... I see him. I see Nurkic coming off the bench. Yeah, we drafted Nurkic, and we traded him to Denver. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. That was a dumb trade. Yeah, because he's, he's a good center. We, we traded Nurkic and Gary Harris for Doug McDermott. Yeah, that's trash. That is crazy. If you had kept Gary Harris and kept Nurk, that would have been decent. That would have been good. But John Paxson and Gar Foreman were um, the GMs. Yeah, that's, that, they're terrible. <laughs> terrible human beings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not worse than uh, this guy from the 90s, right? I uh, forgot his name. Jerry Cross? Yeah. No, Cross Jerry, is decent. Jerry Cross was good. The problem with Cross is he, he didn't want Pippen. I don't understand that. And, and, I mean, I understand it to a degree. Like, they were winning, but when Jordan retired, there was a play where Pippen was checking out because the per, the play wasn't drawn up to him. And it, it was, was Kukoc. Cool it was Kukoc. Cool it was yeah. a buzzer beater. And even, even, I think even when Jordan came back, he was out because of his contract. It's like, dude, you yeah, don't want to sign that good. stupid contract. Yeah, that was... It was his fault, but still, they were underpaying him like crazy. Man. That was his fault. It's business. Business like is business. Crazy. And now he's, he's like acting like a little junior? lunatic. Look at Jokic. It's a monster rebound, man. He's playing good. They're going to win this game, man. Look at that. Yeah, That's he's, insane. He's, he's insane. hungry, man. Yoke, the Joker is hungry. I hope they beat the Lakers. Hey, all the Lakers fans out there, whatever. And Whatever. Anthony Davis lose. is probably going to start crying. and Hope y'all lose. You know. They'll win this series if Davis plays like a a madman. They'll win the series. Unless he needs a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? A concussion? I think so, it's like yeah. total opposite, bro. I think so. Look at that. Oh, uh, who's that? Three like, ball. I looked like Michael Porter. I did? A three ball for Porter. I think it was Michael Porter. No, it was Jamal Murray. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to move that TV right here, bro. I'm going to change that over. Make some changes. I'm always making changes down here. So, yeah, next episode is probably going to be Saturday. Where Big J should be back by then from he his better. business trip. He better. You coming back? You coming back? Or are you going to save it for the for the free agency or the draft? I'll probably, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, we're going to play it by we'll ear. See. Play it by ear. We'll see what I can do. I don't want nobody to get tired of you. You know? <laughs> I already get tired of you. <laughs> That's why you keep him by Hobie's me. in the building. <laughs> oh, Robbie Riddles told me, yo, Hobie, you're trash. He told me to tell you that today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably talking about Fortnite, but. No, not your trash. He said you're a bum. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. The gaming talk, you know. Hating. Yeah, yeah. They, like, love hating on me. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. See, if, a- if AD could play like that, taking it to the rack, the whole series is going to be a problem for Denver. But that's it. Once AD starts spotting up and shooting threes, nah, they're going to lose. The Lakers will lose. They're going to lose. I got them losing, for sure. Aaron Gordon was such a sneaky pickup for Denver, man. Look at that. That's insane. Oh, I bet that pass. That pass was nice. This guy's a center slash point guard slash three-point shooter. Yeah, he can do it everything. all. He can do it all. You know, it's crazy. He's not the first... Um, European to be like that. I'll beat a Sabonis, baby. Oh <laughs> they don't. They don't compare at all. <laughs> what? Are you they serious? Don't compare at all? You ever watch Sabonis highlights from the eighties before Sabonis. he got the knees? I see Sabonis before he got the knee issue. Yeah, but he was Sabonis was a monster, bro. He was. He was good overseas. <laughs> yeah, he, he got drafted in eighty six. Portland wins the title if he comes in eighty six or eighty seven. So? Yes. Nobody, no center in the league at that point was shooting threes, could pass like him, could defend like Sabonis, or run the floor like Sabonis. I don't know, man. Just look, just look at the highlights and then look at all the reports. I've seen it before. Yeah, but centers back then were different. Yeah, they were just in the middle. They couldn't shoot. Yeah, but they were animals. Bro. Name a center from the 80s or early 90s that could shoot threes. He was the only one. Yeah. He, was, he would have been a beast, but... He decided to stay over there until 95, and that's when he had those bad knees. 
And even with his bad knees in Portland, he had some good years. He had some good years. He he Solid. he put some. I, I don't think he, he had some wars with Shaq. I don't think he, he went to a war with Shaq on uh, bad knees. Yeah, I mean Shaq dominated. <laughs> of course, but it wasn't that easy. Like Shaq ran through their whole you know, other centers. Not like because Sabonis had some. Yes, <laughs> Sabonis had some meat on his bones. He was a big guy. Missed that guy. Sabonis was a damn good player. His son is good. Yeah. Montes. Dirty. Huh? Dirty, but yeah, he's good. Why? What happened? <laughs> then he stomped. Uh, or no, he, he, he pulled Draymond. Yeah. yeah, he got stomped by Yeah, Draymond. but he, he did it on purpose because he pulled his ankle. What are you talking about? He was covering his face, supposedly. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. So I get the, sh- the Ken Shamrock ankle lock, bro. That's what he tried to do. Ankle, a- a- ankle lock. It was a- yeah, the ankle lock, yeah. <laughs> ankle lock. Ken Shamrock had, a, had an ankle lock, too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's the originator. Yep. That's funny, man. So, yeah. That'd be a lottery is over. Blazers, number three. Number three pick. I'm happy with that. I expected the six, the five or six. Because we've got lucky with the five, not five, six, seven pick. Number six was Damian Lillard. I think number seven was Brandon Roy. You just got to know how to draft. That's it. You know, I think. Yeah. Look at the Cavs. They pick, what was it, Anthony Bennett? Yeah. <laughs> Number one pick. So Some of the worst draft picks you just gotta, ever. You just got to know how to draft because Kawhi. But, then, but is it Kawhi knowing, was a fourteen pick? Is, is it knowing how to draft or is it all about hype? Because Bennett was hyped up like crazy. I think every team would have took Bennett that year. Bennett. He yeah, he was hyped up. No, he I mean, he's coming out of he, he he came out uh, UNLV. I think it was. And, what was it? I thought it was Canada. Or he's from Canada. Well, he's from Canada. Oh, he's from Canada. Okay, okay. And he, I remember the college. They team. were saying he was the next Larry Johnson. I'm like, this guy's slow. Like, yeah, hey, I don't remember those kind of. And he just came out of nowhere. Like, they drafted him. I don't. Think he, lot, I don't think he was that good. A lot of number one picks are built on hype, though, because yeah, everybody's like, oh, he's just the number one pick for sure. And then they start doing all this stuff, going over the tape and all that stuff. They have good highlights and stuff, but. Over the years, they've been consistent. Like, for example, I think ever since, like, uh, probably, like, 2000, 2002, around there. Who? Yao Ming. Okay, Yao Ming was a good pick. Yao Ming. Um, Dwight Howard was a good pick. Dwight Howard was a good pick. Was LeBron, good obviously. Pick. That was LeBron, a, yeah. no, Anthony Davis. Best pick of all time. Anthony Davis was a good Anthony pick. Anthony Davis? Yes, he was. He was. He was. Who was? That's um, a couple. You're, you're only going a few. Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose was number one pick. Okay. I'll give you Derrick. Um, who was last year's number Greg one Oden? pick? Greg Oden. He was a good pick. Oh, Manchero's pretty good. Manchero is a good Yeah, I like the He's way he good. plays. Um, That's a good pick for sure. Greg Oden was a good pick at number one. <laughs> 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 it was a good pick at number one. Yeah, for Portland's hospital bill. <laughs> yes, that was freaking insane. I thought KD should have been the number one pick. because he, no, he was not. killing it at Texas. So was Greg Oden at Ohio State, bro. They he, couldn't he guard averaged, him. He averaged 13 points and, what was it, like eight boards? That's it. Uh, at, at, at Ohio, Ohio State, State, I got to check that. I think it was a little bit higher than that. You always trying to lowball my guys, bro. <laughs> you always trying to lowball my guys all the time. Greg Oden, I mean, he was a good defender. I'm not going to sit here. Oh, he high, was, yes. But he was giving that Florida team in college problems that whole championship game. Did they win? No, because Florida had a better team. They definitely had a better team. Who was who was guarding him? Joe Kim Noah, right. that bump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't talk about him like that. That's my guy, man. Nah, Noah's a bum. He was a hype player for real. I like Noah. I, I can't even lie. I like him. He wasn't a bum. He almost, he almost won an MVP in that league. No, he didn't. Yeah. No, he didn't. He came out fourth. <laughs> No, he did he? He did. What year was that? I do uh, not remember that Derrick at Rose, all. After the year Derrick Rose got hurt. And Noah was number four. Yeah, he averaged, I think it was like 17, 11, and, and 5, I think it was. Really? Yeah. Damn, I must be like not paying attention because I do not remember that at all. Nine, he put up Ohio State. Okay, there you go. See, you are trying to lowball my so guys, though. So that's a 13.8. What, point less? 15, 15 and 9 in college is good. Yeah, I mean, he was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take KD. I would have taken KD. No, at that point we had, because we saw what we saw was the height. KD six eleven. We had Aldridge already at six eleven. What draft was that? That was two thousand and 
seven. I think. Really? 2007 or 2006? No, 06 was Brandon Roy and Aldridge. 2007, you're right. Yeah, 2007, yeah. yeah. I remember when we majorly messed up. Yeah, because, yeah, you're right. 2007 but again, we, didn't, we picked Noah. Yeah, we didn't need KD because everyone thought he was going to be a power forward. Even though he didn't play like it, but we had a 6'11 guy who could move, shoot jumpers and stuff, and Aldridge. There was a lot of good players in that draft. The 07 draft? Yeah, there was, there was pretty good players in that draft. Um, this game. Look at that. Denver's already up 10. Greg Golden. Denver's up 10. Kevin Durant. Al Horford. Al Horford. Is still, Al Horford's still playing. Yeah, Mike Conley, too. Conley? Yeah, Conley's playing. Jeff Green's still playing. Yeah. Um, Daddy is young. Dad Young? Well, it's not bad. It was is not he bad still draft. playing? Daddy is young still playing. Yeah, right? he's, he's in Toronto. Toronto, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And your boy, Jared Dudley. Jared Dudley, <laughs> bum, bro, bum. <laughs> I never if, liked Jared Dudley if, at all. If he can make it to the league, anybody can. Anybody if Matt can. Bonner can make it to the league, anybody can. Well, Bonner can shoot. He could shoot. Scalabrini, too. He's a bum. Man. Nobody's a bum. You make it to the NBA, you're not a bum. No, you're not a bum. You're not a bum. We're just talking, you know, we're just talking crap. But Scalabrini was a bum. Hey, hey, that's, make the, it to the, league. that's the white mamba. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere he went, he was a fan favorite, man. Chicago, yeah. Boston. San we give Antonio. Him, we give him the nickname, the White Mamba. Yeah, it, it's funny as hell. It's funny as hell, man. He was, I mean, there was a video of him surfing around, uh, I think it was YouTube, where uh, people were saying that he was a bum and he would show up and play him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he used to kill them. <laughs> no, because, man, again, he's an NBA player, man. He could shoot. He could play. He just, against those guys in the NBA. It's just, different. It's, yeah, different it's level. different. Yeah. He was a bum. Right now, if he joined my men's league down the street, he would average 40 points a game probably. Probably. <laughs> I'll call him over too. I'll, I'll lock his ass up. I don't even care. Doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like 6'8". <six>, yeah, he'll <laughs> fucking destroy me. But I, I, I'm not trying to guard him. I don't care. In basketball, you can't guard everybody. You're going you're gonna to get wrecked either way somehow, some way, shape, or form. You're going to get beat. You're going to beat off the dribble. You're going to get dunked on. You're going to get shot over. Look at that defense. That's the Denver insane. defense is looking good right now. Yes, they are. Look at that That's transition. Insane. That's a three right there. No, he missed. Who, who's that? Aaron Gordon shooting a three? Yep. He's got to stop that. Not I mean, he hits him. He hits him sometimes, but I mean. But if he's wide open like that, I don't I don't blame him. Yeah. Look at, Look at Jokic. Jokic runs the floor like a damn That's point insane. guard. That's a three. That's in. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. He runs the. And he just grabs He's an animal. Like he runs the floor like a point guard. And he got in the paint and just bodied Davis for that board and put it up. I think, I think That's Denver's going to dominate. Yeah. Denver's going to. They dominate. look like they want it more. And they're they're the high length, altitude. The they're height, high altitude. The they're, height they have is insane. Look at that! Boom! Give me that. Oh, it wasn't Davis. That was uh. Rui. No, no, that's not Rui either. Is yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Why, why are the Lakers not playing Mo Bamba? Don't they got Mo Bamba? Yeah, Mo Bamba, it was, I don't know. He's where where is guy. that guy? In the bench. <laughs> like, they got him, and I was like, uh-oh, they got a nice center. What are they going to do? Nothing. I don't think he wants it, though. Like, to me, he, don't, he doesn't want it. He's lazy. It, it almost seems like he's lazy. Who's that? No, that's Ben Simmons, you mean. Well, Ben Simmons, yeah. He just wanted the money, and he ran. Yeah, to be, Bamba, with a, to be Mo with a Jenner. Bamba, I don't... What, the one with Bad Bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, Kylie, right? Yeah. Was, yeah. Ky- no, that's Kendall. Ky- yeah, it was Kendall. That was Kendall. Kendall's with Bad Bunny. I'm a, so stupid, man. People would, like... People take a picture, just reels, and post about Bad Bunny walking into the stadium with her. I'm like, who cares, who cares, bro? Who cares? Just go watch the game. Enjoy it. Who cares about celebrities sometimes? I, I really I don't. don't. I don't understand. They're not going to give me it. their money, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, exactly. Reality TV is insane sometimes. It don't matter. To me, it doesn't matter. It makes no sense. The only reality TV I like is sports. That's it. Because it's real. So you like... So, yeah, so, so we you know. Like, you like John Moran with the gun? <laughs> <laughs> That's idiot TV right there. That's bum TV. I like Moran as a player. He's really good, but he's yeah. going to throw his... 
He's going to throw his career away trying to look cool. Like I said earlier, trying to look cool for everybody. And he's going to get hurt, too, if he keeps playing like the way he does. Like D-Rose is playing. I mean, yeah. D-Rose, D-Rose is playing reckless. You yeah, know he it. was. He was. He was playing reckless. If he, if he slowed it down a bit, I think he'd still be playing at a high level. I don't level. think he could. Like, But that was, that's how he played, though. That's yeah, why. Yeah, he was so explosive. It. But he had, to, he had to tone it down. Even Russ toned it down a bit. Yeah, he did. Westbrook played the same, but Russ toned it down. Like now he's he's still playing in the league, still playing, you know, sometimes meaningful minutes. Sometimes, because sometimes when Russ is out there, he shoots three for fifteen, and it's like terrible. He had a good uh, playoffs. He had a good he had a good series. Yeah, against uh, what was it, Phoenix? Yeah, against Phoenix. I thought they should have won that. Look at those passes. That's insane. A big guy. The Devers been playing together for too long. They're gonna they're gonna take this series. It's like. It's like Jokic is a mixture of uh, that, Magic Bron? Johnson and all these players combined. Like, yeah, that was Bron hit the three. I have no idea. Who was that? It doesn't even matter. That was awesome. They're gonna they're, they're getting killed right now. Yeah, they are. Laker fans, where you at? Laker fans, where you at, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> I Dever, told you, I think, from the I think Dever got this. This was gonna happen. See, the reason why I think Dever got this is because the Lakers would have to depend. On at least one good game from either LeBron or AD, Lonnie Walker, Why? Matt Reeves, Austin Reeves. <laughs> Why I said Matt Reeves? I don't know. No clue. So Austin <laughs> Reeves, about Matt Bonners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about Matt Bonner all night. So Austin Reeves, they have to hope for a good game from him to probably steal one. Then Lonnie Walker, D'Angelo Russell's really inconsistent this playoffs. I don't think they're gonna take it. I mean, Denver, Denver in six. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hold firm on that. Denver in six. I think so. It could be five too. Five games. Five is that five is a little much. I yeah, I, so. I give two games to the Lakers for LeBron and AD. One LeBron, one AD. That's it. If they if they don't play hard with Denver, they're not going anywhere. Nah. Denver wants it this year. They want it bad. They definitely. They um, deserve it. They've been together for years. They deserve it. They've earned it. And I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna beat the Lakers six games, and that run is would be amazing. Who, Ka- who they had Kawa first Pope. round? Kawa Pope was. I who was their first round opponent? Who? Denver. Denver. Um, they swept them. I forgot who it was. That's. They're probably trash. Damn. Who did they beat in the first round? They swept them for real. Who won the playing game? I know it was. Damn. Who did they play? Wow. Grizzlies was it? No, the Grizzlies played, oh, the, Grizzlies Lakers. played the Lakers. Um Grizzlies were number two. Yeah. Um Wow. Is it that bad? Uh, they did that bad, probably. No way. Um I don't know. Damn, that's insane. I really can't think about it. I gotta right look now. it up. Hold on, I gotta look that up because that's bothering me. Not the Thunder, the Thunder didn't No, the right? Thunder didn't no, did they? No, Thunder lost. Um, wow, this is Minnesota. Was it Minnesota? I, I think, think it, was, it was. I think it was Minnesota. I gotta check that up. I, 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 I think it was Minnesota. Um, if it was, yeah, it was Minnesota. I believe because he schooled uh, Car Anthony and uh, Rudy Gobert. Yeah, I believe so. It just happened. That's crazy. Bro, I really don't remember. It's like bothering the hell out of me. I can't. I can't find the bracket. Anyway, it was. It was. It was uh, Minnesota. <laughs> okay, they beat Minnesota. That was obvious. That was gonna happen. They demolished Minnesota. I didn't think they were gonna beat Phoenix the way they did. I did not. Like they, the two games Phoenix won was by a little bit. It's too many. Too so much it was almost ISO a ball. sweep. It was almost a sweep. It was too much ISO ball. It was because Durant, Booker, Durant, and then it was Chris like Paul was hurt, shots. so he couldn't really run the offense. Even even when he was in the game, it didn't matter. They were just, I mean, Chris Paul. It was just like, like here, here's the ball. Go do something with it. He's thirty eight years yeah, old. Yeah, thirty eight. Yeah, he's done. He, his legs are probably like, I mean, he's still playing good at thirty eight, but. 
They needed somebody to run the offense, man. They they just he wasn't there. They got Cameron Payne. <laughs> Cameron Payne, that's a bum right there. Payne's a bum. He's a dancer. <laughs> a dancer. Yeah. You know, one of these days we got to do a a boxing podcast. I would love to talk some boxing. Boxing. I don't know much about boxing anymore, like I used I, to. I um I know about boxing because uh, I still watch it in a sense, but I think it's gone so downhill. Like it has. Like heavyweights used to mean something in boxing. Now it's like. It's all about the money. It's not about, it you know, I think, like, for example, Walter Wade. It's not about the best fights. You got Terrence anymore. Crawford undefeated and Errol Spence undefeated. And they haven't fought yet. And they haven't fought. I would love they to see They keep saying they're going to fight. They yeah. don't fight. I think they will. I think they end up will. Then like, I think they end up fighting. Like, especially that last fight we, what was the last fight? Uh, Ryan Garcia versus yeah, Tank man. Davis. Yeah. That looked it. I don't did, know. Did, that look fixed? did that look fixed? That looked fixed to me. Like, I don't know. That was a little, hey. Uh, that like, rip hey, shot, I mean, it was hard. Was it? <laughs> it looked it. I mean, for us, yeah. We'll yeah, probably for us, it would definitely knock me down. I'm a big guy. <laughs> um, but. For a professional fighter, that punch did not look like it I mean, did that much damage. It is Tank Davis, but. Yeah, he could hit hard, yes. But, I mean, to knock, to make Ryan quit. Be like, you know what? I'm all set. Let me stay on the ground. That's pretty much what he said. Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm all set. That was kind of hard. I don't, that felt so. It's like, I got paid. That's that it. felt so fake to me. Yeah, yeah. It felt fake. So fake. And then after the words, um, Jim Gray is interviewing him. And he's like, tell me about that last knockdown. And Davis goes, not Davis. Garcia. Garcia, Garcia goes, yeah, he just hit me there. And then that's all I want to talk about it. He's like, well, how did it feel? Da, da, da. Yeah, it was a hard hit, but I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, why are you dodging the question? Tell me what. Yeah, I didn't. Gotta be, man. Stuff like that. It's the little things like that. It's like. That's why I, I, I don't like UFC, but I respect it because Dana White takes the best fighters. I put them and against the, the best, best fighters, fights. yes. That's how it should be. I'm not a fan of. Um, it should be like that, but. No, I'm not a big fan of UFC. I know a lot of people that are. Boxing's not like that. And I think it's no. the promoters. The promoters yeah. ruin everything. Like Devin Haney. Devin Haney is fighting Lomachenko. Why are you fighting Lomachenko? Lomachenko already lost multiple times. Why you don't fight Tank Davis or yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Makes no sense to me. See, I know some of those guys. I don't know all those guys. I think Stevenson could give it to everybody in, the, in that division. Yeah? I think so. Lomachenko, I heard, was good. Loma's I think right. I've seen him fight I think, once. I think he's more hyped than anything. I, I mean, he's... Don't get me wrong. He's good. Yeah. But... He's lost already a couple times. Yeah, I want to see. I think we're going to get a part two to Davis and uh, Garcia. I hope so. For what? There should I be want a, a better two. fight, man. I want a better you fight, You want a better bro. fight. It's not going to be a better fight. It's, it's, it's sad, but there's not. Yeah. And Garcia's one-dimensional. All he wants to do is throw that left hook. Like, yeah. it's not like Tito Trinidad where he threw the left hook, but he hit you with, like, a thousand shots, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like anywhere. He didn't care. Low blow, yeah. top of the head. He didn't care. It's not the same yeah, boxing. Boxing used to be the bomb, man. man. Boxing Especially is... heavyweight. Heavyweight. When the heavyweight division is doing good, boxing gets a lot of attention. I think now it's, that it's just it's like, okay now. It's just not who Wilder. Fury, that's it. Fury and Wilder. That's it. And they're not even fighting each other no more. Wilder, well, they were supposed done. to. Wilder's done. I think is it? No, hold on. Isn't Wilder fighting Joshua? I think so, yeah. Aren't they fighting? Yeah, but I Look think Wilder's, Wilder's going to beat him. Wilder, yeah, Wilder, I think Wilder's going to demolish him. Joshua can't take... Joshua I mean, lost to freaking uh, Ruiz. He got that fast was, hands, though. He has fast yeah, hands. Yeah, he does, he does. You saw how he looks now? Ruiz looks... He, he looks built, man. He's nice and skinny now. He looks... He'll do some damage, but we'll see. Kind of looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you wallet. <laughs> Never with thirty seven in the first quarter, man. That's that's a pretty good, pretty good first quarter. Yeah, they're gonna win. Yeah, it's looking good. They're looking good right now. They're looking like a well oiled machine. This guy got what? Almost a triple double in the first quarter. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Eight, twelve, and five. What? He got twelve boards already. That's what it says there. Oh my god! Nah, that dude's ridiculous. They're gonna win in six. I'm still staying with six. <laughs> I'm still saying six. I'm being safe. Yeah, I'll say six. So you know LeBron's gonna go off one game. Where they just can't guard him. Is he? Yeah. Think so? He will. I think he will. For sure. Hopefully not. 
I know you hope not, but <laughs> I don't want the Lakers to win at all. If they get swept, I'm happy. But I think they get at least two. They got to get at least two. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't so, yeah, know. Yeah, real quick, is Wilder fighting Joshua? I wanted to, I want to know that Wilder before we get off. Joshua. I have no I could have sworn see I see that. But I'm not sure. Let me see Big J here, because Big J usually our little stat guy. He comes up with the big stuff real quick. The Shout out Big J. You're saying Saudi Arabia, but it's not. Oh, yeah? Like okay, that's fun. what I saw. Okay, that's what I saw. They were yeah, fighting over there. They got to fight, man. At one point, they were the two best in the world. Yeah, they were. I, I think. At one point. I forgot when, but I mean, it was for a brief, you know, year or two probably. Because Fury started making noise. Oh, Fury's always been the best in that division. He just didn't fight. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. He's always been he's the better, best. He's better than the Klitschko brothers? He beat the Klitschkos. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. See? That's how far That's how far I haven't been, or that's how much I haven't been watching boxing, because I didn't even know that. Yeah, he beat the Klitschkos. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, Tyson Fury's. Something else. Yeah, boxing doesn't say that more. Tyson Fury is nice though. It's not. It's not the same, man. It's just all hype. I mean, like for example, Pacquiao Mayweather. That fight should have happened. Oh, like at least five years, years before. Ago. Five like, years before. It's like it happened when they were all like almost forty. Like yeah, five years beforehand would have been awesome. That. Yeah. Like everybody paying for it. I'm, I'm not paying for that. I, Mayweather should have lost many times. It's just. It's a funny sport. I, I Boxing's still, a funny sport. I still man. keep saying that, Jose. Luis Castillo beat Mayweather. I think... Um, who's the other guy that beat him? I think... Um, De La Hoya. No. De, I think De La Hoya beat him. I watched that fight. I thought the same I was watching thing. the highlights of that fight. But I was he, watching the he, breakdown. I was like... He didn't land. Oh, De La Hoya was hitting him, though. Yeah, but he didn't land the way he should have. He lost that fight. Even Cotto was hitting him, but Cotto's... They were kind of sliding off of this dude's body. He yeah, was so damn fast. Yeah. He was so damn fast. Jose Luis Castillo is probably like the best fight I've seen. And I think Sab Judah could have beat him if Sab Judah actually maintained the stamina. Yeah. But he started firing and then he just went downhill ever. I don't know. He went downhill. Yeah, boxing's crazy. It's a lot. There's a lot of fighters in boxing. So many damn belts and stuff. It's just too much to keep up with. I think that's what turned me off to boxing. Like, after, be, like, all the big-time heavyweights got out, I was like, all right, I'm done with boxing. WBC, WBA, IBF. It's yeah, like, it's, like, so many. It's like, why is it so many? I saw some boxer holding up, like, six belts. It's like the WWE. I was WWE. like, where are these belts coming from? It's like WWE. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> Intercontinental champion, the tag team champion, the domestic champion, whatever the hell it is, the United international States champion. champion. Yeah. <laughs> the heavyweight champion of the world. I was like, come on, there's so many damn belts. And now they have all these clowns. Keep it to like five belts and we're good. They got celebrity boxing now with the Paul brothers. I hope that guy loses. He already lost. He's fighting um, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz. Yeah. Nate Diaz is what? Nate like, Diaz is a boxer. Yeah, but he's like 50, right? I don't know his age. I know he's up there, but. Nate Diaz is old. Like, I, saw, I saw him in the press conference and I'm like. You can tell he looks wow, old. Wow, this guy looks. You can tell he looks yeah, old. Yeah, he looks old. I just don't like Paul because he's so damn cocky. They asked him a question. How does it feel to get in the ring with, I think, a real boxer like Nate Diaz or something like that? And still, and still, Nate Diaz is not a high level boxer either. He's no, no, okay. No, no, he's okay. But he knows how to box. Supposedly, it's because he knows how to box. It's a good matchup for Jake Paul, but we'll see. Jake Paul is a big guy. No, he's big. Yeah, it was what? How tall is he? Six two. Mike Tyson. He ain't doing that. Why not? He's not doing that. I would like to see that. If he wants to live, he's not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point. I want to see you that. See, did you see Mike Tyson and Roy Jones? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Mike Tyson was holding back, man. Yeah, he was. I think he wanted to destroy him, but he just couldn't because they know it was for charity yeah. or whatever. It was exhibition. I think he should have. He should have just gone and... Oh, he had, he had shots. And you could tell he, he went like that. He just like held back. I was like, oh, come on. Just throw it right there. Knock him out. I know he wanted to. Mike Tyson just look. He doesn't care for the sport like that. He doesn't. He's you know, old now. He's he's, 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 like, he's almost sixty years old now, probably. Yeah, he's old. He's chilling now. I would too. I would be like, hell no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, no, he's good. He doesn't need to fight anymore. Have you seen um, Hassan Whiteside, your boy? Whiteside where? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. He's playing in the Puerto Rico league. Brandon Knight playing over there. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins playing over there. Yeah, I saw DeMarcus Cousins playing. Lance Stevenson, Norris Cole. Wow. 
Your boy, that's uh, where Alex uh, Jefferson is playing. Rondé? Yeah, he's good, actually. Uh, uh, no, he's always been good. He's always yeah. been good, for sure. There's a lot of players over there right now. I mean, so that's where NBA players go to die? <laughs> nah, just uh, kidding. Kind of, yeah. But I think... No, nah, but gonna... they're going to play because they still can play the game, yeah. just not at the NBA level. They're going to make it a... Supposedly, you're going to make it like a... Um... The high-profile players coming out of high school are going to have the option to play over there for a year and come to the NBA. Really? The Puerto Rico League? That's what they're talking about. I don't know how true it is. Okay. But that'll be that'll be, that'll be different. Cool. That'd be cool. Treat that'd like, be cool. you know, overseas, like Italy and France and all these guys over there. That'll be cool. Well, you, saw, you saw Dwight Howard's message to all the players. Oh, my God. <laughs> Inviting them to Taiwan. For what? Bro, to, to dominate win titles probably. So they're gonna go. They're gonna go on like a five championship play. season run. I could average ten points over there. <laughs> <laughs> I probably could. I think I could. I lose some more weight. I'd be all right. I could all average threes. ten points for sure. Yeah, for sure. This Dwight Howard had what the first game? Like forty seven points and like I thirty rebounds. I wouldn't go to Taiwan. It's, it's I would just go to Puerto Rico. It's right there. Yeah, it is. But that one—that's a good league, though. That's yeah, good it is league. a good league. But that's the whole point. Yeah. But the fans are involved. People they are, are involved. No, they are. But you wouldn't you wouldn't go to the Taiwan League? No. Why not? Easier your competition. You're definitely going to get some points. I'll get a layup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all I want. It is getting kind of late. What time is it? Kids are going to bed. Ooh, 9.20. We should call it, Hobie. I think so, too. All right, everybody. Appreciate you guys checking us out today. Um, next time we'll have Big J back, hopefully. Stop going on business trips. We need you here doing the podcast. This is more important. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all love. It's all love. Until next time, Hobie, appreciate you stopping by talking to NBA today. All right, man. It's an exciting time for to be a fan of uh, the NBA. It's going to be... Not of the Chicago It's going to be... Yeah, not for you. You guys suck. It's going to be <laughs> a very long, strange offseason, I think, especially for me. You know, we don't know what we're doing with Dame Dollar. I want him to stay. Nah. You guys don't have enough. But anyway, that's it for us today. Check you guys out next time. Peace out.